Hey, what's up guys? Today is a very exciting day. I'm testing a downhill bike. We're here with James, the uh, PR guy for YT. He's gonna walk us through the little setup and then we're gonna ride the trails of Dovey to uh, take it for its first ride, get it set up and see how it feels. James? Thanks Rob, stoked to be here and uh, riding with you today and to show you uh, the Chuez. So this is our downhill bike. Um, this specific model is the Core 4, so it's the top end, Fox factory suspension, E13 carbon wheels, code RC brakes, Renfield cockpit, literally dripping with it. Um, yeah, this, uh, this is the 29 version, so we do a 29 and a 650B as well um, but we also do a lower price point core 2 available in 650 only so i'll run you through some of the highlights of the spec now um, so up front in the cockpit first of all we're um, starting with the rental um, yeah factory cockpit with the fat bar 800 mil wide as stock um, we've got the direct mount stem of course as well uh, sram code rsc brakes um, so you've got the bite point adjust on there too um, ODI grips, these come stock on all of our bikes, which is really nice from any price point, um, which is sick and they're super comfy and tacky. Um, yeah, and then you've got an XO seven speed shifter, which goes to the drivetrain there. Um, moving on to the suspension, obviously, like I said before, Fox Factory uh, 40 up here on the 29 version, four way adjustability on the damper. So you've got high speed compression, low speed compression, high speed rebound, low speed rebound. It does take a bit of time to set up, but don't worry, we'll come onto that in a bit. Um, with the shock as well, the Flow X2. Um, so again, the same uh, compression and rebound adjustments that you have on the fork to balance it out, real nice. Um, SCG uh, saddle and seat post as well, um, which is a nice little feature with the nice little YT logo on the saddle there. Um, E13 wheels, like I've mentioned before. So these are the carbon downhill ones and then we're running the Maxxis Asagai in down casing, of course, max grip on the front and rear as well. Proper tires. Ultimate traction on these bad boys. Oh yeah, um, man. So yeah. getting it set up, what's, uh, what's the deal? How do I do it? Yeah, so again, with some of these high-end bikes, uh, you might be yeah, looking at it first and going, hey, there's loads of adjustments on here. Where do I start? But on the YT website, if you click on uh, the support, page and then go to the suspension um, setup guide you plug in your bike you plug in your weight and all your parameters and then it will spit out a recommended starting point of how to set this bike up for you um, so yeah we're going to go through that with you rob um, and just get that all set up and dialed in and then we'll do a few laps and go from there sounds good man let's go Okay, run number one, top of Dobby, a very fresh bike indeed. James, are you excited for this one? So excited, been uh, itching to get here on the downhill bike and we finally made it happen, so yeah, let's get it. Let's go, see how this goes, run one, see how the setup is. Woo! Go! Oh! Whoa! Oh my god! Here's a saddle. The saddle. <laughs> <laughs> oh mate. Probably should have seen this coming. Oh. On the takeoff! Whoa, it's so slippery, man! Well, that's run one underway, and uh, 
yeah, definitely, I don't know if you heard in the clips, some seat problems, buzzing on the rear tire. So we're gonna sort that out now. And also I think the bike's sitting into the travel a little bit too much in the back. So we're gonna add some pressure and uh, yeah, go up 10 PSI in the rear, see how that feels and get up the hill for another one. Run number two, we've gone 10 PSI up in the rear shock. We've changed the saddle position, so hopefully it's not fouling on the rear tire. Let's get down another run of Super Super and see how it performs now. There's a reference to the viewers. It's unpredictable in the woods. Some is grippy as hell. Some is super slick. It's a bit scary. Two runs down and it is feeling very good already. Just making some minor changes at this point. So I've gone two PSI down in the fork. Just trying to find a little bit more balance, a little bit more weight on the front wheel. Let's see how that goes. We're gonna ride turns in the ferns. You excited for it? So excited. Let's I go. Love some turns, let's go. <laughs> Run number four, no changes to make this time around. We're just gonna ride a different track, see how it feels on some slightly different terrain and then uh, go from there. I'm excited for this one. Lovey dovey, first time I've ridden it. Let's go. Okay, we've done some turns. Now it's time to hit some jumps. See how this thing soaks up the hits and where better to come than the Oakley Icon Way, a triple black diamond. Some big hits on this one. So let's go check it out and see how the YT does. <laughs> Oh my god, it is so slippery! Run number five. We've gone a click faster on the rebound on both ends. Starting to feel a little bit more comfortable with the bike and uh, ready to get down racetrack and give it some. See how it fares at speed. Let's go.
Well then, last run of the day. Back up at the top for one last lap. We're uh, feeling a bit tired now, so we're gonna go down lovey-dovey. And honestly, I think the setup's pretty good for, uh, especially for what we've been riding. I'm feeling pretty comfortable with it. So now it's just time to enjoy another lap. Certainly been an easy bike to get set up. Let's strap in and go for one more. And that wraps it up. Setup day on the YT Choose Core 4 here at Dovey Bike Park. That's been a lot of fun, and this thing is going to be a lot of fun to test. Stay tuned for a long term review coming in, in the coming months, and make sure you subscribe to the channel so you don't miss it. Thank you guys.